Hey everybody, this is Derek Picker with Reef Automation. Today I'm going to be shooting a video just to kind of explain who I am and show you some stuff around my house that's pretty cool and is automation related. And I thought this would be a nice video to introduce myself and introduce what I do for a living um, and also some of my hobbies and a little bit about me. So I grew up in Chicago and I lived there since I was uh, born. I was born in Evanston, Illinois and grew up in Chicago and lived there for 18 years and now I reside in Gilbert, Arizona. I went to Arizona State University for computer science and programming and since I'm from Chicago I am a huge Bears fan and a huge Cubs fan and I watch all the Bears and the Cubs and I got into reefing when I was roughly five years old. I had my first fish tank when I was five years old. And about four or five years later, I decided to try out salt water. Um, I went to a pet store and saw some really cool looking fish and I was curious how you could take care of them. And then I learned all about salt water. And then when I was 15, I got my first reef tank, which was a little 12 gallon bio cube. And that's when I started to learn about reefing, uh, roughly when I was 15 years old. I'm currently 38, so that was uh, more than half of my uh, life when I started doing this. And uh, once I went to college here in Arizona, at Arizona State University, um, I did not have a tank. And I was waiting to have my own home to start building, and I had about three or four different tanks in this house so far. So. Again, uh, this video, I'm just gonna go over kind of some cool things that I have in my house, uh, some cool automation, and just to give you guys some ideas um, in the realm of home automation and how it kind of coincides with reef automation and how I go about doing everything that I do every week for you guys. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna show you guys is my office here. So here's my office. This is where I do my streams every week for you guys. And you'll see I have an iPad set up here just to show you what I do for a living. So I am a certified master programmer for Crestron equipment. And Crestron is a home automation system. And basically it lets you do just about anything. I design touch panels. I also program them as well. I've been doing it for about 20 years. As you can see, I can control my entire house here. I can control what's on the in the room. I can control what the volume is. I got my shades. I have my fans. I have my garage door. I have my locks. Anything I go here, I could show you my climate control. Here's all my lights. And you will see if I go to the office, I could turn up and down the lights here in the office. Here's my shades, which I'll show you in a bit. So a little bit more on my office. Here's my nano tank that I've shown you guys. And it's here to the side of my office where I do all my work. As I said, I'm a master certified Crestron programmer. So here's all my certificates and all my business license and everything. So I thought that was pretty cool to, to show you some of my certifications and what I do. So I have three dogs. So the white one is 16. The brown one is three, and then I have another one that's probably hanging around somewhere outside. So here's my dining room where you guys have seen my other tank. And then I'm going to show you guys kind of something neat here that I do. So again, part of the home automation is I can program keypads and touch panels. So you'll see this is where I can control my shades, I can control all my outside lights, I can control my music outside, I have speakers outside. Here's my other dog. This is a Brittany, and he's a puppy. He just turned two today, actually. So something cool is I have an exterior shade. So if I go down here to close, you guys can see my exterior shade. And what I put this in for, obviously, is for the fish tank. So what's really nice is I can take this down and up whenever I want um, to allow for no light to go into the fish tank. I also have three additional shades here that are motorized, which I'll show you if I hit the button here. And it blacks out my entire family room here. 
So I have what's called a Dolby Atmos system, which is nine speakers. I have three up here. I have two additional speakers up here in the front. I have two additional speakers here in the back, and then I have two additional speakers here on the side. I have two subwoofers, and then I have my 75 inch TV, but then I also have a 120 inch screen, which I'm gonna show you, which goes to my projection screen right here. Again, this is what I do for a living. So I install home theaters and I install audio video. So this is exactly what I do for a living. I'll show you guys my remote control here, which is also a custom programmable remote. And this will do basically the same thing I showed you. And that's the remote control here. My entire house is voice activated. So for instance, I can say, Alexa, open all the shades. And you will see that it'll open all of my shades. And I can go furthermore with this. I can say, Alexa, turn on the TV. Alexa, turn on the TV. And then it will turn on my TV for me, as you can see. I can also say, Alexa, turn off the TV. A few things share a new TV. Which one did you want? Alexa, turn off the TV. Sometimes it doesn't like the TV because it sounds like other things. It controls all my lights as well. So here's my kitchen. And there's the tank that you guys have seen in my kitchen here. So we'll go over there a little bit. So the lights haven't fully turned on yet, but I can show you guys some new additions. Here's my new blue squamosa clam that I just got. And last time I took a video, the toadstool leather wasn't really doing much. Now he's out and about and doing great. So that's that. So it's a guest room and a bathroom. So we'll go into here and we'll show you guys my car. So one thing about me is I really love cars. I've liked cars since I was a kid. When I first got my license, I was really stoked to get my driver's license. And this is something that I've been building for about three years. Everything in this car is custom made. Um, I've done a lot of work to it. Something that most of you don't know is I'm quite mechanically inclined. So I installed a lot of this on my own. So we'll show you a couple really cool things about my car. If I open up the, uh, the engine, you can see where I had the engine custom made for me. And I have all kinds of blue and carbon fiber in here. This is a turbocharged car. It doesn't come turbocharged normally. It also uses a flex fuel kit, which allows me to put racing fuel in it. It tops out at about 400 horsepower. So I'll show you a couple other cool things about the car. Again, I got a lot of carbon fiber on the car. And like I said, this is kind of a side hobby. Um, I don't really work on it anymore. It's pretty much done, but uh, I've really focused on my fish tanks over the last couple of years. Um, the car has roughly 8,000 miles. It's a 2015. I don't really drive it ever. It's 100% automated. Uh, it's completely automated by my voice. I can start the car by my voice. I can unlock and lock the doors for my voice. Um, it's got cameras inside. It's 100% automated. So one thing I wanted to show you here in my garage and throughout my house is all of my Echo Dots are actually in the ceiling. So I installed them in the ceiling and I'll show you when we go back inside. Um, I also have a video camera up here to watch the car when I go on vacation or so forth. So let me show you the inside of the car. The inside of the car is pretty neat. Again, all 100% custom done. Um, spent a lot of time installing all this and I love doing this kind of stuff like I said so you can see this I got a carbon fiber dash 
couple cool things inside. Like I said, I have a camera right up there. So, yeah, just wanted to show you my car. Another kind of side hobby that I have. And uh, I really love working on it. Here's the fish tank, which you guys have seen many times. Right here. My salt mixing bins. My new uh, one, two, three that I've been using. So, so we'll go back inside. And again, I got speakers in all the rooms in the house. You'll see the speakers here in the kitchen. And all of my Echo Dots are actually in the ceilings throughout the house. So I'll show you those real quick. There's one uh, right up there, as you can see. So yeah, I'll uh, turn off the lights, turn on shades down, and I'll show you some other things. I got my fans, I got all kinds of different buttons for everything here. I'm gonna turn off the light real quick. And I'll go grab the remote control and I can show you how the uh, projector screen works. It's pretty fun. We get to watch a lot of movies and uh, I'm a big movie guy, so I really like to watch movies. So it's a motorized screen. It comes down. You'll see that I have speakers. The speakers actually penetrate through the screen, which is really cool. So we'll give this a few uh, few minutes. Usually it takes roughly two to three minutes for the projector to warm up. I'm gonna shut down the lights here so that way you can kind of get an idea of what this looks like. Also close the uh, bedroom door here. You can get a idea of what this looks like. So you'll notice the screen populates or comes down over the television, which obviously was done on purpose so we could use either or. So we'll give this a few more minutes. It should pop up. There we go. So there's my Apple TV and you can see it's pretty bright, works really well. Again, I sell this stuff. So if any of you that are watching are interested in a setup like this, you can always contact me. Uh, my company is Home Automation Experts, based off of Gil based on, based out of Gilbert, Arizona. Sorry about that. So we'll uh, we'll turn this guy off, get everything back up and running here in the house. So yeah, I just wanted to uh, do a little video, show you kind of some cool automation that I do in my house here, kind of give you a little background information into who I am. Um, I used to be a big Ken Griffey Jr. fan. And uh, there's some models of my favorite car, which is a Celine Mustang, which I've been trying to get for many years. Um, I'm gonna show you guys uh, one other thing here. All of the equipment in my house actually gets controlled by an equipment rack, which is sitting in my office here. So you can see this is what controls my entire house. Is really cool. A couple other cool things that I have is I have power controllers from my phone so I can turn off and on power throughout the house if I need to reboot something. It also will alert me if the power goes out in the house which is really nice. So take a look at the Nano again. You can see the Scully's doing really well. Got a couple new corals in there. Got a, got a new rock anemone right there. Uh, but yeah, the Nano's doing really well. And for those that don't uh, know, I'm actually sharing water between this tank and the tank in the garage. You can see the tubing is right here. And it actually goes behind this cabinet into here. And then it goes up into the attic. Um, another thing is I installed a fan up here, which is a ventilation fan for all my equipment. And that's right there. So... Anyway, I just wanted to kind of show you some really cool automation in my house, give you a little introduction to who I am, and show you some voice-activated stuff throughout the house, 
and show you my car and show you some other cool things that I work on um, for those that don't know me personally. So I appreciate you watching today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. And of course, please like and subscribe to our channel. As some of you know, I do live streams every weekend where I give away free stuff. And of course, I do tutorials on Apex systems and like systems and aquarium products. So uh, trying to do more videos. So hopefully you like this one and hopefully it gives you some great ideas for your house. And again, I'm always here to help you with uh, any automation related topic. Hope you have a wonderful day and look forward to seeing you soon.